Um, that's frustrating. But uh, yeah, dude, dude was excellent in apologetics and demonology. Um, so did, did you attend the school or? No, I didn't attend. I didn't attend Talbot. I took five years of theology with a guy by the name of John Coleman that got his master's degree at Talbot and oh. Milford Talbot, which was got his master's degree in apologetics and in Greek at Talbot. At that time, I was working in film in Hollywood and I doing 12, 15 hour days. I couldn't I couldn't go to Talbot and do that. So John Coleman um, and uh, Milford Talbot did the did theology for individuals that were pastors at that time in the inner city. And there's there was something that I wouldn't say that it fell through, but in, in the same way that individuals that went to L.A. Bible that were able to get accredited classes to go to masters, it was supposed to be the same thing with being with John. But something happened in 2003 or 2000 for to where the, the crashes weren't accredited in regards to so oh, okay yep but very right. familiar very familiar with with talbot and uh and uh biola yeah all right so uh anything you want to say road warrior you're here yeah no i just wanted to come on because i was like hearing a couple of things uh because <clears throat> i wanted to understand uh, cause I don't know, uh, you Reamer, but I heard you, you know, mentioning my name. So what's that about? Oh, I was just saying that we don't, I, we don't back down. If you're a Talbot dude, I wear, I got an honorary Talbot, uh, um, um, honorary Talbot, um, um, uh, hoodie, but we don't, we don't back down. We don't back down at all. I guess when JP was getting at you, I was like, man, get a JP Talbot guy. Oh, and also there's another guy that you need to go and address too, Seiko Woods. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, you need, I'm you well need, aware. You need to sit I have a conversation with him. I'm well aware of Seiko Woods, but I also I'm aware of he he's a little well, I shouldn't say a little. He's got some issues. What issues? He's got a lot of issues. No, what His issues? attitude is one. You know. Okay. All right. That's, so that's one. Okay. Um, well, what do you mean attitude? Because <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, his attitude, just how he talks to people, how he treats people. You haven't seen what the myriads of videos that people are doing against him. Yeah, I, I know a lot I mean, of people that and, I know. Hold on, wait a minute. Just, just, yeah. just me. Go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead and finish, so I can. No, I'm just, just, just making a quick point. I mean, okay. And some of the stuff is legit because I've seen him do the stuff. He's coming at me foul, and I'm like, look, dude. I'm just saying, you know, you may be wrong on this, and then you, you up there talking, and you, like, well, you need to cam up or oh, shut up. I'm like, really? No, it's well, not all about that. Oh, right, right. It's okay. about, so it's about up, Bible truth and whether, you know, what this issue is, is mm -hmm. correct or not, or how you're dealing with it is correct or not. Okay, so if we were about to do that, right, most of the individuals that are part of the mob, I know. So whether it's a person that's talking against Baptist protocol that's in error, when I call that out, it's a wrap. When I deal with standard of truth podcasts and there's things that I know personally and I call it out, it's a wrap. When I deal with another guy that's echoes and sound bites and I call it out and you got to remember, Road Warrior, I'm an old school dude. So if we had, when we had beef and we went and addressed T.D. Jakes and we went and addressed Clarence McClendon and we went and addressed Creflo Dollar and we went and addressed dudes, we went like we went like Paul. We went and withstood people to their face in their church. So in essence, when I met Seiko in 2009, a cam up or shut up is just a virtual way of withstanding people to their face. So if we were about to argue in this Protestant stench, Seiko is no different than Luther. None. So if you're going to say Luther is sinful and he's not saved, I don't know if people are about to make that argument. If you're about to argue Athanasius and the way he was, I don't know if you're about to make that argument. And mind you, not to get Seiko's back, I wouldn't do what he does. But one of the reasons I don't have a YouTube page is because you're not about to disrespect God. You're not about to play with theology. You're not to mess around with the Godhead like people do. That's just not going to happen. So for me, I'm like, I may not be in that bar, in that mud pit, but if I'm going to get in that mud Reamer, pit. Reamer, you your TV has sound right now or no? Because I hear like an echo. 
Oh, my bad. Does your TV have volume on? No. All right, I hear an echo. Carry on. Now, do you hear me? Is the echo? Is it gone? No, no echo now. No echo now. Okay. Mm. So, so in that regard, all I would say is this: when, when, when I went off on Seiko in 2015, I did, and I slammed him because he did war with Fred Price Jr. And I didn't think that there was any apologetic value to, to Fred Price Jr. However, when Seiko began to expose G. Craig Lewis, a lot of my young people in ministry and people that were in the hip hop were very much into G. Craig Lewis and all the stuff that he did exposing hip hop. So in that, when me and Seiko had our beef and I hollered at him and he let me know the people that were being saved out of G. Craig Lewis's ministry, I was like, bruh, uh, OK, I'm not about to do what you do, but if you, people are leaving word faith churches and leaving ministries like that then do your thing bro and that's where i took it with him so when everything went awry with seiko it was over marcus rogers which is a oneness and i don't know about y'all but if you guys if you i know you in la mirada but dude i'm in a 40s hood i'm in between a 40s and a 60s hood in south central and i told ricky gans bro that argument that they had with them two girls and marcus rogers that happens practically every three Sundays at Emmanuel. If you're doing biblical counseling in the hood, oh, people going to get ratchet and they're going to get crazy. So it's no it's no big deal for me to understand his apologia. But his apologia to Marcus Rogers is because that dude went foul, just like the country dude. I wasn't about to let that country dude run this conversation. And I'm a pastor and you ain't about to run no conversation. You ain't about to run over me and make people think one is Pentecostal. Oh, you can clown all that stuff. And if we were in person, I'd go to my car, get my bag, and say, yo, bro, which size you want? The 14-ounce glove or 16-ounce glove? Which one? We can do it for sport. Or we can go to the octagon because you're not about to play over social media and stuff when ministry is serious. We might be humble, but we ain't weak. We're not a bunch of punks doing the gospel. We just forgive people. So in that regard, I understand where... Not that I would do it, but I understand where Seiko is because he's not about to tell you're not about to tell him something theologically that's different. You're not about to talk over him on his platform. And when I did 99.5 KKLA, guess what I had charge over when I was at Salem Communications? The button. If you were talking crazy, I'd either put you on pause or send you into the ionosphere doing radio. So did Walter Martin. So did Craig Hawkins. So did... um. Um, what's the guy's name that was that was the, the the theologian back in David Hawking? All them dudes would be like, "No, you're not about to do this." And if you do this, bye. So mm -hmm. that's just my only thing with Seiko. And if we don't understand where we are, Jake's just got exposed. Gino is over here doing fake stuff or crazy stuff that ain't working. Most people are talking reformed thought, but they liberally minded using reformed thought. You know, Christian Warrior, I've seen you for a minute. How many views, how many likes, how many people are following you, and you got reformed doctrine? Not many because they ain't trying to hear it. They're not trying to be right. So in that, I'm like, okay, say go go get at them. And the one that's gonna hear is gonna hear. The one that's not gonna hear, not gonna hear. They just not. And check, and, check, check and one, two. I'm sorry. Uh, Leonardo, did you want to say something, bro? My bad. Oh, no, no. Finish, finish. When you're done, then. Okay, 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 okay. So, well, Leonardo, before you, speak, so, before you speak, I just want to know, are you a oneness, Trinitarian, Unitarian? Uh, oneness meaning that is Jesus, there's okay, only one God. This, let's, right? make real, let's make this real short, because I believe in one God. Is Jesus the Father? Okay. Jesus? Is, is Jesus yes, the Father? I, yes, I believe so. I, I be okay, then, yes, so that means you're I believe so. Okay, so Reamer, finish up your your, your statement. Okay, so so my thing is 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 like I said before, I don't have a social media content because I'm not about to put up with the nonsense. That's the nonsense. I come from a rich history of dudes that had strong language. Um, I'm a I'm a football coach, a boxing coach, and a track coach. And when I go into the boxing ring, I train dudes. I don't train dudes. I don't put on how great thou art when I'm training dudes in boxing. <laughs> I don't do that. And I tell dudes, dudes be like this, uh, Pastor, let's spar. Do you know what you're asking? Yeah, I want to spar. Okay, check this out, dude. When I spar with you, please don't keep in your mind this is Pastor Zarek's. Because I'm going to hit mm -hmm. you, and it's going to hurt. 
<laughs> because there's one thing that you don't do. You don't play boxing. You can play everything else. You don't play boxing. And and partly that was part of my ministry. When I was going, dudes like this, oh, yeah, you ain't dancing with Hammer no more, Mr. Hammer, light-skinned man. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, if you wasn't an RA, I'd kick your behind while I was at job corps. I'm like, oh, okay. So I went home, got my glove. Check that. Get up, man. What you about? You about to kick my behind. For real? No, I don't want to get. No, no, no. You about to kick my behind. Let's do it like this. If you can hit me, you can get up as many times as you want to. But if you can't hit me and I hit you, then you got to come to my Tuesday night Bible studies. And I have yet to have a dude that has not attended my Bible studies when we were putting on the gloves. And it's just a form of evangelism or a form of apologetics in that regard. But so many people, they just, like I said, bro, it's it's real crazy right about now. There's no respect, not only for the office, but for the man called in the office. There's no respect in that regard. So my only thing with you, see Warrior, was is that, you know, I, I know you're doing a, a Talbot, you're doing Viola. I think you're doing some good stuff, but I think you also need to, if we're talking about doing apologetics to give a defense and where the way I learned it from, from Talbot graduates is when you argue, you argue as a lawyer. So when I took that, I said, for real? Yeah. Then guess what? When I go into apologetic debates, I'm Johnny Cochran. If it don't fit, you must have quit. Break down that Greek. Matter of fact, hold up. Stop. That's the All way. Right, so I real prefer. quick, Brother Rima, real quick. Yep. All right. So, fellas, we have a oneness here. We have a oneness in Leonardo Fernandez. He says Jesus is the father. Choose your character. You have Rima. You have JP. You have Christian Road Warrior. You have Praise I Am. Who do you or and you have a calm kingdom. Who do you want to address uh, this uh, Leonardo Fernandez guy? Choose your character. You have five fighters here. Choose your character. So who do you guys want? Choose your character. Chat, go ahead, brothers and sisters. Who do you want? You want Reamer, JP, Christian, or Praise or Calm? Choose, Choose wisely. Choose your character, fellas. Hurry up. Who do you want? Come on, chat. Choose your character. And I ain't going to wait. I ain't going to wait all day. So hurry up, fellas. Hurry up. If not, we'll just do some kind of like a rabbit in the hat kind of thing. We'll just randomly pick. You know? yeah, just real quick, J uh, JP. Mm -hmm. I just want to address the uh, the whole Seiko Woods thing real quick. To, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Brother Reamer. Yeah, um, I think uh, Seiko's done some good stuff when he was dealing with um, uh, Fred Price Jr. I've seen that. And he's done some good work when it comes to G. Craig Lewis. I, I find fault with both of them. But, you know, you can start out doing good and then you can also falter. And I think Seiko's kind of faltered at this point. That's 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 my view of him. All right, you want to respond to that, Reamer? Well, I'll say this. When Jason Whitlock has Charleston White on his show because he's attempting to talk about a form of truth and where is that? Is there something going on? I'm here, this right? Oh, that's not. Okay, I'm off. Um, and you get this vibrato of people. I went to Grace, the conferences. So did Seiko. And when John MacArthur talked about having uh, and the way pastors should be, most of the people that knew him, Paul Felix, Carl Hargrove, myself, John Coleman, Harley Howard, when people found out John had was sitting on 30 million racks, with a Wait, litany what? of houses. 30 million in a in a litany of houses. That's public knowledge. We was we was like, we was like, no, we was like, wait a minute, hold up. The, wait a minute, stop. I'm an ex-entertainer, so I know what money is. You know, and, and mm -hmm. also when it comes down to protocol with churches, I'm like, the, the only three things that's important to a pastor is his parsonage, his health insurance, and his transportation. Dude, most of the time, most churches, Baptist churches, take care of your parsonage. And then when it comes down to health care, they give you a salary that that deals with your with your health care. So if you make 50 racks, they give you a stipend for health care. 30 racks? I got dudes in the inner city right now that would listen to John and say, yeah, we take the position of a man not being part of filthy lucre. And you got dudes struggling. 
Well, but John MacArthur said, then you come to find out that dude making a half million dollars on a part time salary. Bro, I was like, oh, heck no. There's something wrong with that. And then when you turn around, and you had Hancho that came out about Julie Royce and talking about being a pastor. When I know for a fact that don't nothing happen at Masters unless John gives you. You're talking about big red records. Don't nothing happen. So when Seiko went in on John MacArthur, I, it, it might have been. A hard apology, but I, I get it. I understand. So speaking of the uh speaking, I don't want to say the devil, but um, yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up, warrior? Yeah, speaking of the uh yeah, what's up? You tell the me hitters are all here, man. You tell me what's good, what's happening? Here I am. Oh, this is Christmas all over again. What's up? What's up, Christian Bro Warrior? I heard my name being mentioned. What's good? What up though? Yeah, you, you tell me. You tell me, you making the you accusation. Let's get it. You don't want you don't want emailing me two years later about listen, something. Listen, listen, we I'm here now. So let's get okay. into it. Let's get into and it. Two so, years late. No, that's, that's right. Who have I been attacking? Let's go. Bring your Bibles up. Let's go. You call me a slanderer. Who have I slandered? I'll wait. Oh, I didn't call you no slanderer. Uh, yeah, you did. Let me pull up the emails. I know liars like you were gonna make those comments, so let's get it. How you doing, brother Woods? What's happening, man? How you doing? Starting 2024, calling out these liars. That's all, you know. I just want to know about the 30 million. Who got that? Who got 30 million dollars sitting in the Sooty bank? sitting on 28, 30 million racks. As, can you send me, can hey, you Seiko, send me didn't you do a live on that on John MacArthur and the amount of money he making? Yeah, he, he's, he's a multi millionaire. 30 million? Yeah, That'd he's a multi millionaire. He didn't know about that. He didn't know about that. That man smuggling drugs, bro. Yeah, multi-millionaire. You good? But anyway, uh, Christian World Warrior, you made all these comments, man. I heard my name being mentioned up in these YouTube streets. What's your charge against me, my man? What? What, what charge? I ain't made no charges. I just made oh, some basic come on, general come on, comments. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You an intelligent dude. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Here's your shot. Here's your opportunity to make these accusations public. You say I've attacked Lecrae. You say I attacked Corey Minor. Shall I go on? Bring your case. No, you bring, have. Bring your case. And you know that. Bring your case. Bring I've, your case. I've already done videos dealing with your stuff, man. Bring your man. case. Bring, uh, your you case. Know. bring your case, Arthur. You know. Bring your case, Arthur. Let's go. Bring the accusations. Here's your shot. There ain't no shot. I don't need, I don't need like a, I, said, I, I came on. I don't need on here dealing with this, this topic. I don't need a WWE belt to this take whole issue, This with whole issue of, uh, mm -hmm. what's his name? Gino Jennings trying to cast out demons, trying to imitate deliverance ministers. That's why I came on. That has nothing to do with me. That has nothing to do with me. I'm talking That's about exactly you, right. It has nothing to do with you. Right. And I was so talking with this so brother so right here, Mr. Reiner. Now you talked about nothing to do with you. You talked about me. So you you, you full of drama, and you, that's all you about. You so ain't about time. I don't buy with this. You just you full of drama. That's why I don't. That's what I want. All right, so fellas, how about this? Look, how about this? Drama. Look, how about this? Christian Road Warrior, you said you had concerns about Seiko to Reimer. You said it here live. And so, why don't you just share those concerns real quick, please? Yeah, what are you just look, look at his channel. What does he do? Does he sit there and go through line upon line teaching Bible? No, he does not. How He's, do you know that? Look How at his channel. How do you know you that? See drama about uh, what's his name, Marcus Rogers. Drama about this by his past sex life. All this. That, that's Girl, you gotta. That's you not gotta, Bible. You that's not that's sound Bible teaching. Head, I understand if exposing about? someone. Who's a false teacher? I get that, but you do not do sound Bible teaching hermeneutics. That's what that's what you don't do. You He's do drama. Gotta, so, so you you say I'm not a Bible teacher, really? Based on what? Just look at your channel. What do you do? No, 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 no. Bring the evidence. See, see, you a black man. You should understand when black people are being accused, how people were hung on trees by sellouts like you. That has nothing like that has nothing so to do with anything we're talking about. Bring the accusation. All people have to do is go to your channel and see what you bring do. The evidence. You and it's just evidence. drama. Listen, you brought the, you brought the accusation. I don't see any you to any videos by you where you're just exegeting a scripture. I, again, and, 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 this and is and what that, the passage that, means that, and that, here that, here's how we need to live. Or right. this is how we need to do this. No. Christian, Christian Rowe, your channel is full of drama. Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. It's right on your channel. Arthur, just say you don't like my channel. But one thing no, you're not I, it has nothing to do with like oh, it. No, it has everything to do with it. No, I, don't, no. I don't go looking for your stuff. It's if your I content. Want, listen, Arthur, your content I, speaks for I, itself, bro. Arthur, if I want to deal with a fake wrestler, if I want to deal with a grown man that got fake wrestling belts behind their head, then I go to your channel. 
but I don't go to your channel. I don't look at your no, That's just foolishness, superficial hey, foolishness you're hey, talking about. Hey, hold Anybody on. that goes to my channel will see I do sound Bible exegesis hey, hold on, hold on. and I, 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 I false I, teachers. Hey, 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 like Brother Reamer, I go hold into on. the Hebrew and Greek. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 how it's bad to do superficial Bible hey. studies, just reading English translations, and the danger of that. And Ro I teach Ro people Ro Hebrew Warrior. and Greek, bruh. Ro you don't Warrior. do that. Roll Warrior. Yeah, wait a minute. Yes, Hold sir. on, stop. Hold on, wait a minute. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he has. As a matter of fact, he went into the Greek and had a debate with Corey, and Seiko went into the Greek where dead meant dead. Am I lying, Seiko? Yeah, that was Necros. Okay, it was Greek. So... Yeah. I don't know. I'm not trying to get his back, but as of right now, when everybody says he's not a biblical expositor, but he's technically by most people have not lost the debate yet. If you're talking about apologetics, when you're talking about going and defining, I don't know if he's taking JP help me out. Has Seiko was taking an L yet apologetically or biblically? I mean, Seiko's been doing this for many years, so I have not watched Seiko enough to know whether he won or lost any debate. I mean, the man's been doing this since 2000. Okay, well, so what, let's go, hold on. Let's go back to the beginning. Did he take an L with, with, with Fred Price? I don't know who Fred Reamer. Price is. I tell you what, Reamer. Price, you don't know have Fred you Price? Seen my channel? Hold yes, on, hold on, women, 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 women. No, 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 because it ain't about your your channel per se. What I what I told you was is we don't. You're a Talbot dude. You don't run. We don't run. I don't run. When that dude won this came on, I addressed him and he got mad and ran. Boop. Period. When Michael Williams said, we real, we do this, I called him. He said, oh, we got a caller from California. Who is it? I said, Pastor Zaris. And April almost dropped her soup that she had. Because in, we don't run. So all I'm saying is this, bro, if you're going to step up, step up. Holler at him. Seiko right here. You brought the accusation I mean, right here, bro. So, I mean, right he here. right here. Now, no, mind no, no. you. Now, mind yeah. you, Roe Warrior, I, I learned from Milford Talbot that apologetics is a form of evangelism that is not edification, nor is it worth it in the triangle. So so if you're talking about dealing with Mars Hill, let me uh, let me let me address those... somebody, Reamer. Let me address somebody. Brother, with all due respect, Brother Cornelius, you're saying that this is not edifying and all this stuff and that you want to leave and all this stuff. Then just leave, brother. I'm not going to pledge allegiance to you and get on my knees and beg you to stay. So why are you saying you're going to leave? Just leave. You don't have to say you're going to leave. Just leave. If you're telling me you're going to leave, it's because you want me to get on my knees and pledge allegiance and beg you to stay or say, oh, bro, don't go. I'm going to change it or bro, don't go. I'm going to do this. Brother, if this conversation offends you, you got three grown men having a conversation. I have not opened my mouth once. If this offends you, if this offends you, then this channel is not for you. These, these are three grown men talking. We already finished with the Geno Jennings thing. So leave. Don't say you're going to leave. Just leave. Thank you, brother. So this it's not me being condescending. Carry on. Who is Shamunian? Come on. That's uh, 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 Shamoon. Uh, what's his name? You know his name. Um, Sam Shamoon. Sam Shamoon. Shamoon. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Uh, that dude to take an L too. Okay. What? Well, well, so going back to it, dude. Christian word. If you got to beef with Seiko, because this is a Seiko. Correct me if I'm wrong. Seiko has never tried to disciple someone to be like him. Never. Have you? Never will. Never Seiko will. has Seiko has never told anybody that they must be a part of his channel. Did you? Never have. Never will. So, so Seiko's not about getting converts. Ain't trying to get people. He doesn't apologize. That's what he does. And just for example, I'm just gonna keep going hunting. When this dude is about 10 years younger than me. And I'm telling you, Roworth, we would go to Duke's church and withstand them to their face. In other words, if I really, if I was 10 years younger, oh, I'd go to Atlanta and go see Whitaker. I mean, I'd go, I'd go to, I'd go to Ohio and see Ricky Gans and sit right in his church and take these issues because that's what Paul did. When Paul heard something, he didn't send a letter. He went and stood to the dude's face and presented the argument. So being that you're here, Seiko is saying, what is it about his apologia? That's hard. And it's like I will always say, if you're not willing to address Luther, 
which is the foundational principle by which we get Protestant Christianity, then you can't come at this dude because Luther was 10 times worse than Seiko is. Am I lying, Seiko? Nope. But let me get back, let me get back to you though, Christian Grow Warrior. You made false accusations and accused me of sin. I haven't done it with you. So what's my sin? Biblically. Well, once again, I have not accused you of sin. I simply made the point that there are things you do that are off. Now, like you what? have plenty of videos out there of people like doing videos against you. Like what? I'm not. I'm, I choose I'm, not I to about, go that care. route. I don't care about the people. Doing I choose videos. not to go that route. I stick to mainly just doing Bible. I'm talking about you. Okay. I don't give a crap about nobody else. I'm talking about I'm you. Doing you Bible. The accusation. You made the false accusation. I'm calling you up on it. Here's your opportunity. Here's your chance. Hey, what, 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 I'm not, what, what false accusation are you talking about? You call me a slanderer. Who have I slandered? I did not call you a slanderer. Yes, you you showed me that I called you a slanderer. Sure, let me bring it up right here. I you didn't call you a slanderer. Alan and Marcus Rogers, you remember the email on that? You want to pull that one up? You should have the email. Why don't you pull your email up? What was that? Alan Parr, Marcus Rogers. Remember that email conversation we had in 2021? Yeah. Want, you, want, you, want, you want to pull it up and read it to the audience? No, what about it? Why don't you pull it up and read it to the audience? No, you're bringing it up. Why don't you pull it up? I don't I don't have that set up right now. Oh, you don't? Okay, of course you No, don't. I do not. Of course not. Like I said, ain't, ain't nobody came here to talk about you. I came here to deal with this topic oh, no, that they were know, talking you about. You talked about me. And before made before you, you came into, this, into the screen. Well, I was invited. But the point of the issue is, mm -hmm. as I pointed out and I said to Reamer before you came in, you did great work when you were exposing Fred Price Jr. And I like that. And I enjoyed uh -huh. that. You did uh -huh. great work. Uh -huh. We exposed Craig, uh, G. G. Craig Lewis. Uh -huh. Great uh -huh. work. I uh -huh. appreciated that. Uh -huh. But now I don't know what you're doing. So, so, so tell me, tell me where's the sin? Say that again. Where is the sin? What do you mean? Where's the sin? I didn't say you sinned. All Mr. Right. Woods, I'm, I'm reading. Let me read the email, Mr. Woods. This is dated December 19, 2023. Mr. Woods, I appreciate the response, although late, but a good deal of time has passed since the initial issue that prompted my concern. Since then, I have seen how you have attacked Corey. Let me and ask. I, and I stand by. It. Yes, you hold attacked on, Corey. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Is, is attacking a I stand sin? by that. Hold on. Is attacking a sin? Is that a, is that a, is that an accusation? I said you attacked Corey. Yeah. Is that an and accusation? That is exactly what you did. Hold on. So so There's, the video is there. Hold on. Hold on, hold on Arthur. Because I gave you opportunity to respond, you, you act like you don't remember anything you said. So I'm just asking you, since you're a Greek and Hebrew scholar, tell me what does attack mean? Is that a positive thing? Is that a negative thing? If you're saying I'm attacking a fellow image bearer, what am I attacking them about? What, what am I attacking them for? Go ahead. Well, like I said, I didn't, I didn't watch the entire video. Oh, so you, so now right. you're a fool. So 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 the Bible. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Don't jump to conclusions now, because you're being a fool now. I'm not. You being a fool now. You jump to conclusions. You say you haven't watched. I didn't, I didn't see the entire video. So you, but, okay. you, made, but you drew a conclusion. But, you made you drew a conclusion but, without gathering all the evidence, right? No, that's not you what did. I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. Let me see. What I didn't see see the entire video, but and I, I mean, you did several videos attacking Corey. Attacking. About his past. Attacking. I mean, make sure you make sure you, you hold to that. You said attacking. So continue. Go ahead. And and role warrior. So did I. And no, 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 no. Let, 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 X, X, I want I want him because the accusation is toward me. It ain't toward anybody else, right? Okay. So it, it's it's on me. So continue, continue, Mister Warrior. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. I saw you do that with with Corey, who does do expositional uh, teaching of the Bible using Hebrew and Greek. So, so, so you said I attacked him. How do I, how did I attack him? I think I just said you were talking about his past. I was talking about his past or he, yes. so you were on. bringing up, hold you on. were bringing up his past. Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. Were you, were Arthur. you, or were you not bringing up Arthur. the man's no, past? No, no, I didn't. Okay. Corey you did. know what? This hold is, on, this on, is over. On. This is so over. It ain't over because you, I'm, you I'm not, I'm not going to sit here. You're in the lie, Arthur. You're in the lie, Arthur. You are, you are, you are now, hey, Arthur. now you're lying. You're oh, no, no, no. I'm not lying past. because I have the evidence to prove that it, I'm not it lying. It wasn't Corey present stuff, right? Past. It wasn't present stuff that he just no, did, No, no, right? no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Remember now, remember, you said you didn't watch, you said you didn't watch the whole video. So you're speaking, you see how he leaves? Y'all see how he leaves, right? 
Okay, I'll get ready to say, I hope you leave. So listen, say, listen, Arthur, you just admitted on this live that you did not watch the entire video. Did you admit that? Arthur just left. Just like a punk. Just like a punk. Just like a punk. But see, this is my point. I don't have to yeah. lie about this man's past. Corey Miner brought up his own past and he was lying about it. That's what had me bring, that's what had me bring up these court documents. Because Corey was sitting up on these live channels saying that he was that he was vindicated. How are you vindicated of spending or, or, or stealing almost three million dollars from investors as a professing Christian? You need to bring him back on, bro. He don't need to be throwing rocks and hiding his hand. Hey Seiko, but it wasn't it wasn't as a professing Christian, it was as an ordained pastor. Oh yeah, ordained pastor who professed was, to be a Christian. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it yeah. was and and just to add in, no, I and I hurled accusations at Corey too, because I like Negro, how dare you become ordained, be set apart, start a start a investment firm called Christ Minor Ministries, steal stuff from people, and then all of a sudden act as if you were railroaded because that's how it came across to us. It came across as it was a technicality. And then when individuals dig deeper, it wasn't a technicality. It was yeah. real. But yeah. even in that, Seiko and I didn't have a problem with where he is now. We was like, dude, you lied back then. Just fess up to that lie. But wait a minute. There's something else going on. As a person that did that as a pastor, I believe to this day that Corey can no longer hold the office because of what he did. And that's my only angst. I'm like, bro, if that's what you did, then no, you can't hold the office. You can't do this. You can't do the other. You might be able to go to you, Tanner, but no, as far as holding an office as an elder, no, man, you disgrace that. And that's the only issue that I had with him because he was trying to act like we got he got railroaded. He got this. And there was some other people that was that served time with him that called Seiko that broke down who he was. We didn't go there with that stuff. Because we believe that when it comes down to this office, you got to be serious and honest with it. So the same way we went off on Johnny Mac about being dishonest, we went off on Corey Minor about being dishonest, we went off on Protestia and all those other clan groups that act like they really cool, but they really not there for the people. Why? Because I'm in the inner city. He in the inner city. We really in, in ministry in the inner city dealing with dudes that got money that could throw money around. Am I lying, Seiko? Am I telling no, the truth? No, no. And and, and the, the, here's, here's the issue that I have with people like uh, Arthur, aka Christian Road Warrior. When they make these accusations, they don't hope they they hope and, hope and pray to God that people like me don't pull up. I was minding my business. I was actually on a conference call with other with a, with another with another couple, uh, another brother and sister in Christ. My wife and I were, um, and so my my name was mentioned and I was summoned and here I am, because I don't have to hide about anything. So when you accuse me, and I'm, I'm going to read this email so that way we can go on record, JP, and your audience can hear these accusations. Oh, yeah. As soon as you read that email, bro, we, we've been here three hours. So go ahead. Okay. Read the email. and then. Okay. He said, Mr. Woods, I appreciate the response, although late, but a good deal of time has passed since the initial issue that prompted my concern. Since then, I have seen how you have attacked Corey using court documents from the past as if he had not changed or repented of his past sins. Those actions remind me of Satan, who is known as the accuser of the brethren. I have no respect for you and what you do online. I have no desire to discuss anything with you at this point. So you accuse me of attacking Corey. That's a lie. I didn't attack him. And then you say my actions remind him of Satan. What is that? You tell me what that is, ladies and gentlemen. I'll wait. Because how do I attack Corey Miner? Corey Miner put his own stuff out there. Corey Miner tried to make himself look like he was the victim. No, the victims were those, those 64 plus victims that he stole money from, millions from. And some have died and not, and not have received a dime. Who he claimed he was vindicated for. Who he twisted the scriptures, knowing Hebrew and Greek, but yet twisting scriptures, telling people that he was vindicated. Make that make sense. There you have it, folks. All right. Well, thanks, Seiko. Thank you, Reamer. Thank you, uh, King Kingdom. Um, yeah, I didn't yeah, say I wish I was on here earlier. I wish I was on here earlier, though. We missed. Oh, no, yeah. Well, he didn't mention your name, so 
Yeah, he didn't mention your name. So he, he mentioned your name a little later, and that's when I saw people in the chats. And I was like, oh, that people is summoning Seiko. So I was like, hey, and, and, what? You and, and let your me name? say this, if you don't mind, JP. If, if hey, somebody mentioned my name publicly, then have the cashews to cam up with me publicly. Don't do this punk stuff talking about people, and you don't give them the opportunity to defend themselves. Because I'm pretty sure if this, was, if this was a courtroom and somebody was falsely accusing you and your life was on the line, you want to have the opportunity to defend yourself too. Do me that same solid. No, oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. He does, All right. He yeah, that one is heretic is still backstage, Reamer. Yeah. Are we dealing with him? Which I one? Mean, I'm pretty much done. It's Hold on. 